Since the launch of Goop in 2008, Gwyneth Paltrow has continued to make headlines with her controversial and sometimes ridiculous takes on wellness and health. Granted, most people when they see a headline about vaginal legs or steaming groins tend to chuckle and just move on. And while you might, unfortunately not everyone does. So let's talk about why this $100 billion wellness industry continues to thrive and the actual danger it poses to their customers. Let's start with the art of persuasion. I have used ozone therapy rectally. What is that? Unscientific, unproven, potentially harmful therapies. That's a razor thin line to have to tread across between scientific evidence and just merely right. entertaining. It's been known to make some slightly pseudoscience-y claims. Goop is taking advantage of people at their most vulnerable positions and it's really just not acceptable. When an influential celebrity enters the scene, our reptilian brain begins to take over. It's actually a known psychological phenomenon that familiar faces, like those of celebs, tend to be more trusted. This is likely a survival mechanism to distrust strange enemies and instead trust those in our tribes. However, I can assure you these celebrities are far from your tribe. So one of my bathrooms has to be different because you took my 10 marble slabs. Celebrities will pose their advice as simply what they do or what works for them, while simultaneously building enormous businesses that profit off their innocent storytelling. It's not meant to be advice for anybody else. It's really just what has worked for me. But still buy your products using link in bio, right? But Dr. Mike, what's the harm if they're just sharing what works for them and making a profit? There's nothing wrong with making a profit, except if it's profiting off of misinformation under the guise of questionable anecdote at best. At worst, it delays people from getting actual medical treatment. Think about it. It's not unreasonable to have a person with stomach problems seek help from unproven supplements while cancer spreads throughout their body. This isn't an exaggeration either. In 2017, a study published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute showed that people with cancer who had used alternative medicine instead of conventional treatment had a greater risk of dying. It's not just the delay in getting real medical care. These unregulated treatments potentially create harm, like medication interactions, liver inflammation, heart arrhythmias, or even an increased risk of getting cancer. Yes, cancer. Yet, somehow, this industry is expected to grow to 400 hundred plus billion dollars by 2030. And honestly, I think it's my fault. Well, not my fault, but modern medicine's fault. Truly, our healthcare system has provided us with nothing short of a garbage experience. We have shrinking appointment times, burnt out physicians, and corrupt insurance plans that leave people wanting an alternative to regular medicine. I get it, but you know what bothers me even more? Is that many of these companies target women in their advertising. My theory as to why? They know women have been hurt even more by the traditional healthcare system. They get misdiagnosed more often, even in life or death moments like heart attacks. Their bodies are poorly understood as a result of less inclusion in research and education, and their physical pain is not taken nearly as seriously. And it doesn't stop there. These companies prey on known insecurities. They promise unrealistic beauty outcomes that most of the time, at least on social media, are achieved through plastic surgery, injections, and face tune, not their miracle product. Let's not skim over that detail. Bombastic side eye. So now let's look at some of Gwyneth Paltrow's wellness claims and goo products that landed her in hot water with doctors and agencies like the NHS the infamous jade egg. Goop claimed that inserting this egg-shaped stone into the vagina could improve sexual health, balance hormones, and even prevent uterine prolapse. The problem? There's absolutely no scientific evidence to back these claims. In fact, using a jade egg can lead to infections and even toxic shock syndrome. So this product got destroyed by the medical community and Goop ended up paying $145,000 to settle the false advertising claim and reimburse any customer who actually bought the product. Just last month, Gwen appeared on a podcast where she admitted one of her very helpful wellness treatments had been rectal ozone therapy, a process of having gas injected into the rectum in the hopes of reducing oxidative stress and a whole host of other miraculous health benefits. However, 
According to the FDA, ozone is a toxic gas with no known useful medical applications in specific adjunctive or preventive therapies. Even the US Code of Regulations isn't shy about the proven effects of ozone on humans. Although undesirable physiological effects on the central nervous system, heart, and vision had been reported, the predominant physiological effect of ozone is primary irritation of the mucous membranes. So, irritation of the rectum. I think twice. In 2021, Gwen felt she was suffering lingering effects of COVID-19 and a year later was still noticing symptoms like brain fog and fatigue. Long COVID is a serious and deeply complex condition that certainly requires more research. But not if you're Gwen, who went on to describe her recovery routine designed by Will Cole, her chiropractor, who criticizes pharma for being profit-driven and sells a $197 gut supplement and a $724 toxin home test. Gwen detailed every step of her long COVID recovery process, enthusiastically listing the products for sale alongside her writing on Goop's website, such as the Goop Wellness Box for $265 or her infrared sauna blanket in stock for $600. Free shipping though. When asked about Gwen's long COVID cure, Dr. Stephen Powis, the National Medical Director for England's NHS, stated that like a virus, misinformation carries across borders and it mutates and it evolves. Goop's editors were quick to point out that this was one person's story and recounts an individual experience. It is not meant to be a diagnosis for healing or treating any specific disease, symptoms, or side effects. At least that was honest. Goop has written favorably about the stickers that promote healing. One of their blog posts promotes wearable stickers from Body Vibes, such as the Anti-Anxiety Tent Pack which fill in the deficiencies in your reserves, creating a calming effect? Goop blog writers did leave a warning though, saying leaving them on for the prescribed three-day period left a few Goop staffers with marks on their skin, so be careful to stick them on somewhere concealable if you got an event coming up. Well, as a practicing physician, I would have put a warning that this is complete horseshit and that anxiety can be a real problem that has legitimate solutions you can pursue with your doctor. And unless trust me bro is a form of evidence, there is zero evidence that wearing stickers will reduce your anxiety. Goop currently sells a $135 Implantorama coffee enema. This device is used in the bathroom to shoot coffee up into your rectum and colon via the anus, with claims that the coffee can be used to clean out your digestive system. There is no evidence of any medical benefit to this product, and they actually know that too, because their website clearly states, no claims are made about this product or anything we sell on this website. When using any new procedure that you do not understand, always check with a competent medical doctor which surprise, surprise, I am. And why I'm pleased to inform you that this is a complete waste of money. And just when you thought your coffee couldn't get any more expensive. Goop has proudly promoted vaginal steaming, a process of sitting above a steaming pot of water attempting to cleanse your uterus. In 2015, Goop said, you sit on what is essentially a mini throne and a combination of infrared and mugwort steam cleanses your uterus. Several problems with this. First, the vagina is self-cleaning. It doesn't need any help. If you happen to develop an infection, you should visit a doctor to diagnose and treat the issue. Next, added moisture to the vagina in the form of steam can actually lead to the growth of bacteria, actually increasing your risk of infection. And sadly, some women have actually burned their vaginas due to the steam being too hot. In 2015, Goop published a piece written by Dr. Habib Sadegi, who introduced a link between underwire bras and breast cancer, a long debunked claim by numerous medical organizations. Dr. Sadegi wrote a long quote that ended with, accumulated toxins anywhere in the body increase the risk for cancer. The American Cancer Society disagreed, confirming there is no scientific or clinical basis for this claim. Goop has since removed the article. Look, not all natural remedies are snake oil. I made a video where I discussed the ones that actually work on our evidence base. Click here to check that out. And as always, stay happy and healthy.